hard mode today. Earl's going to go to Phuket. I'm going back to Singapore. Uh, I don't like giving the rain because when you go to the border, you know, you need to take out your documents and all that. Uh, yeah, you get wet or just a bit leche. The thing is, uh, I won't be recording putting the GoPro on because I got the media mod and the media mod is not... Um, it is not water resistant. It's like weather resistant only. So which means that... Uh, Unfortunately, I mean, I don't want to use it, but we end up no footage or waste time. So straight all the way back to Singapore. So one day in, one day out. All right, hard mode just now from Hat Yai City. Uh, ooh, it's raining all the way. And finally, a bit of respite from the rain, even though I still have my rain pants on. Oh gosh. So right now, it's Sadao and I'm gonna head straight back to Singapore today. It's kind of late, so um, it's 12.44 in Singapore, so 11 now. Um, gonna take a while, but okay. All right, now we go back. Uh, back to Malaysia Okay Oh, thank God it stopped raining Much better Now It's back To Singapore All the way back 800 plus kilometers Let's do this lah Don't scare lah I'm still kind of Drenched From the rain And now this uh, Jacket is mesh in fact, when I stop, I want to look at the weather map, the radar, check out the precipitation and see if there's anything coming along my way. Hopefully, nothing much as of now. But honestly, when I was in Hat Yai, I was checking and uh, it didn't look good. Quite wet all throughout. First stop. I'm gonna stop at Gurun RNR, which I think is about either 110 kilometers away or 180. And then the next one might be Seremban, I think. Seremban RNR. And from then on out, it's uh I think I could hit Pago depending on how much range I wanna do and whether I wanna eat lunch or not. We'll see how that goes. Let's just go into this BHP, we won't pump any petrol. Uh just wanna take a quick break check the weather and also have a hit of tobacco <laughs> Hard mode is real. I have been riding in the rain for a good two hours, two hours plus, two hours thirty minutes. The thing is, it's, it's not the problem. It's not the journey. It really is the weather. I'm just hoping that the later leg of the journey there will be less rain. Then the rain is picking up now. Oh, okay. Finally. We can put the GoPro on because it has stopped raining. From what I heard in in Johor from my friend that a couple of floods also has been flooding and also in Singapore it has been raining. Press play man. Hey Cardo, music on. Yes. Okay, so just nice. I think it has been, it was what? I think it was about 
three hours almost three hours of rain non-stop all the way oh my god right out of Gurun and all the way down and well we're not even near KL in, in fact still a long way to go but the ETA at least to Singapore is about four hours to five hours possibly maybe maybe six hours so it's not that difficult it's definitely possible to do Singapore or rather Hadiai to Singapore in one day on an X Max for sure I mean at least I can put the GoPro on and ch chit chat a little bit before I lose pretty much all daylight and then uh, there's there's really no point actually to, to have it to have it on okay I'm gonna change lanes the thing is I like I mentioned earlier or if I if I don't if I didn't put it in is that having this GoPro on it really messes with the with the aerodynamics of this uh, RI12 Cross 3 uh, it just bobbles around and stuff like that which is quite uncomfortable and you really can feel the weight of the the GoPro so going at much higher speeds is a little bit difficult but if you're going at about 80 it's fine usually I roll on the shoulder until about 90, 100 and I get out, get out so yeah, the next fuel stop is Pago. Pago is about 250 or so kilometers away, which is uh, very doable. I think, um, let's see what the GPS says, but if it doesn't tell me to go in the direction of E6, that means taking Elite Highway to skip KL, I will probably, most probably do that because uh, yeah, E6, even though it's a little bit out of the way, it goes around KL, it's just a bit smoother. Yeah, you could split through traffic in KL, but it's just a bit tiring for me. Um, I mean, although the x max is quite perfect in those kind of situations, you know. But, uh, yeah. So, that's uh, pretty much it. And I'll turn the GoPro off. Probably I'll turn it on much closer to Singapore later see how it goes put on my glasses because I'm a blind f at night can't see Jack but yeah you know I've told you like how useless the high beams are this is high beam and then this is uh, normal beam low beam <laughs> high beam low beam high beam low beam high beam low beam yep okay I'm gonna put some music on and uh, chill Look at that, nice sunset, mm, very nice. Okay, E6, let's go to E6. Yeah, that's where you want to go. Wow, a lot of traffic, eh? Lots of traffic. Okay, let's see what we can make do with all this traffic on E6. Yeah, it's a, it's a Friday night, so you would expect everyone to be out. You know, heading out of KL, getting into KL, stuff like that. So expect some traffic, it's quite normal. But we are on a bike, so we don't have to worry too much. Anyway, on E6, so after E6 is E2, and then all the way back home. So, uh, about 360 kilometers to do, it says um, we will be home by 11 uh, but I don't think so I think I'll stop for a bit uh, take a chill pill and then and then go home okay uh, quick petrol stop although 100 ron sounds delicious what I don't really like about petrol is they usually don't accept card at the pump which is just a little bit frustrating where's the 100? 100 is there uh, yeah they don't accept is this the only 100 pump? yes it is 
it's wet. There's something really very peaceful about being on the road alone, especially at night. It's just you, the headlights in front of you. For driving, it's also the same. Peace. And you sort of like settle into this zone where you're just, you know, munching the mouths, not thinking of. Not thinking of many things, not thinking of much. Yep, we shall go by Tuas. I already see the Tuas signs. We are almost home. Trying to keep it together now. We are almost there. I do think that you always let your guard down when you're almost you're almost done. When you're almost home. You let your guard down and that's when shit happens. We are here. So started off at about 11, right? And now it is uh ah. Now it's 1.28 So yeah, very possible Singapore to Hat Yai, Hat Yai to Singapore And yeah, call it a night here Thanks for tuning in Goodbye